everyone. Welcome on 360 Sports on Trust TV. I am Adeni Ajishafe. Well, we just have to quickly look at some stories trending in the world of sport. We talk about volleyball uh, over there in Lagos, where it's happening in life for the Super Cup. And we'll be looking at uh, a lot of matches that was played. Well, Crystal Palace did where the Eagles really uh, they flew, uh, they flew over Arsenal. They were able to win that game. It was a shocking result for a lot of Arsenal fans. As uh, What happened to them? Well, we'll be talking about that as we continue on the show. Joining me to talk sport is Olaole Peters. Good to have you. Good morning, Adeni. It's a pleasure to be here. Good morning. Now, let's uh, start from volleyball. Over there in Lagos, you have uh, about 14 teams taking part in the Men and Women's Super Cup taking place in Lagos. And quickly look at the fact that Quara United, they defeat uh, Kano Pillars in their game 3-2 uh, in that particular game where a lot of people were expecting Kano to win. But uh, Quara United came on smoking. They really did well. 3-2 against Kano Pillars for the men and also off our volleyball club also did well defeating Kada Kings. 3-2 uh, there. Good one for the, uh, the two teams that won. It ended 3-2, 3-2. For the women category, Chief of Army Star Spikers, they also did well. Uh, actually, uh, winning need their game against, uh, they won their game as they were able to win 3-0 that particular encounter there. We are talking about uh, talking about uh, the volleyball competition taking place in Lagos against Nigeria Immigration. The Army uh, players they did well defeating Nigeria Immigration Service 3 0. Well, we've been talking concerning the Volleyball Super Cup, where you have the Premier League teams and also the National Division One teams playing together to determine who wins the league this season. And it's been fantastic in Lagos. Okay, and I think Quara State, they are, they are doing something right when it comes to sport this time around. They did not only defeat uh, a Premier League volleyball team, they defeated a current champion of volleyball. So it's a very fantastic thing to note. Also, in the Nigerian Football League, also. We are seeing what the football, their footballers are really, really doing. So that means the state government is doing something right to promote the game of football, not only in the football, also in the in the volleyball category. So a very good one for them. Having lost their first uh, game. their first game against um, uh, Kida team, Kada team, then the second one, they try as much as possible to win it. That will motivate them that we can win it. We can do it. And if you check the fact that Kada King won their fourth game and they lost, lost second their second one against Offa FC, so it's like, um, okay, you defeat uh, Quara, Quara the way from Offa, we're going to defeat you. That's how it actually end where it uh, favored Quara and also Offa Volleyball Club. Uh, the Super Cup taking place in Lagos for men and women. They've been participating. We'll be bringing you more concerning this particular competition ongoing over there in Lagos. Where we move away from volleyball, let's talk about football now. As we talk about the Nigerian National League, a martial player, the Area 10 uh, football pitch just yesterday, where the host uh, team, FWC champion, they were able to win that game against Zamfara United. They pipped them by a long goal score by Haruna Sabea. Uh, in the 58th uh, minute. Well, we were there. Let's quickly see what happened on that particular pitch. <laughs> Come on, 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 come on,
Before the match started, I was having the feeling that I was going to score a goal. I don't just know why. So I'm, I was so happy. You see, when I scored the goal, I didn't even know how to celebrate. I just fell down flat. I was very happy for scoring that goal. They're giving us a booster to go to just and see if we can win the or pick a draw. But we pray to win at just with this winning. Sometimes when we had the goal, so we just decided to kill the game. Even if we don't score more, we should defend the one we've scored already. So that's why we just decided to keep the game low. Thank us. Happy today. They make us proud. It's long we win the match. So we failed. We have to come back and get the winning. And we, we thank God we, we won the match. The most important thing is the three points. And we have got it. It's a game of 11 aside. And we thank God we officiating this. No who no we. We are going to just to fight to the end. We will not give up. We believe the league is still open. So we are going to just for, for to get a point. We can win, we pick a point. So I have a very young young boys. Very young boys. But they play with their heart. By God's grace, the lapses I've seen in this first standard by second uh, by before the commencement of second round, by the break. You know, they have some areas that we we have to reinforce the team because we need more experienced players. If you look at them, they are too, they are young. They are young. So we need more sure of experienced players. Experience matters in football and maturity. So when you are in, in the competition, never give up. You must be have ambition, you must have a vision and a mission. So if we have our way, we want to go to our first attempt in NNL, it's NPL. NPL. I'm very happy about it and uh, for the first time uh, we can see a fair game uh, that was not porous like the past one. So we are happy and uh, we gave kudos to the ref. So we are happy. Our players are very versatile players and they are very good. Yeah, but, uh, we believe that uh, for some time um, they are experienced in the pitch of play, especially from the officiating uh, level. They were not happy, but uh, we told them, we encouraged them, we discussed with them, we told them that, look, you guys can do better. We encourage them in many ways because we've been there for them and uh, we are always there for them. You see us as uh, the officials of the club, the management team. We rap with them as if they are, we are the same thing. It's by the grace of God, we look forward to that and we pray that uh, we will be the first club in Abuja to be promoted to that level. So we are looking forward to that. See if FWC champion will be able to actually make the promise they made by qualifying for the NPFL. That we just saw there uh, the game between Zamfara United who came visiting. They really played a very good football against uh, FWC champion, but eventually it was the home team FWC that won their game. Scored uh, in the 58th minute by Haruna Sabea. You just have to talk about the second tier of our league. I saw you smiling. Uh, was it the game or <laughs> the interview? Well, uh, number one, uh, the determination of the team. They have the hope that they want to break the record. They're going to be the first team to qualify to the Nigerian Professional Football League. So that means they have a roadmap. They have a strategy, what they want to achieve, and how do they want to achieve it. They're going to just, if we cannot win, at least we're not going to lose. So that means they are going already with a game plan. Yeah, facing yeah, the, yeah, the, the mighty jet in their next game. So that shows that they have something they want to offer. Apart from that, I think um, we still need to do a lot. Look at the pitch that they are playing. Sincerely, we can't leave everything to the government to do because your football, um, your football team cannot progress if we do not develop internally, if we do not do the grassroots development. And the grassroots development starts from um, here. This kind of pitch that yes. is fixed. I was trying to compare this to a game I watched yesterday on the FA Youth in England. I was like, where's the comparison coming from? <laughs> and not that we don't have the money, 
we do have the money. But the government this time around also, I think they have to release their holding on some of this club to allow an individual private investor to come in and take it away from them. Not totally, but we should be looking at um, football as a business. A business in the sense that it can create wealth for the economy, it can create jobs for the people, it can take a, a, I mean, a lot to develop. Imagine if this is being managed by, look, look at the pitch, look at the pitch, but look at the players How with their determination. Play if they can football. play like this here, imagine if we allow them to play at Abuja, uh, at the National Stadium, NQ Abila Stadium, if they have a better pitch to showcase their talent, it would have been better than this. I even enjoyed this game than the game uh, <laughs> Super Eagles and... Don't go there. That's, that's, that's the truth. I enjoyed this game. You can see the way they are all running. The zeal, the determination, the commitment, everything is there. So that is what we need. I think this is a, this is a very good one. A very good one. A good development. We've been looking at uh, FWC champion of our Zamfara United. Arteria 10 uh, pitch there, uh, old parade ground. Uh, despite the fact that the pitch uh, is not too uh, palatable for them to play, the players still find themselves determined enough to use the pitch. Good one. That ended one in favor of uh, the Red Jersey team. That's the FWC champions. Um, just have to bring that one to you there, showing you the Nigerian National League as it actually unfolded yesterday in Abuja. Now we move away from there. Let's go for it and look at some matches that was played. Well, English Premier League ended in favor of uh, Crystal Palace. They, they are known as the Eagles. No one expected that they will, be, they will beat Arsenal by three goals to nil. It was a game that, okay, this will be the chance for Arsenal to solidify themselves in the top four. But alas, it wasn't the same way because they ended up losing that game one, two, three goals. I, I didn't see that coming at all, seriously. I didn't see three goals. <clears throat> well, uh, one thing about Arsenal team, like a friend of mine we were discussing after an Nigerian match, I was so disturbed. I said, you know, one good thing about Arsenal is we are used to being disappointed when you expected more from the from team. Them. Actually, he told me that after the match. So I was like, what is he talking about? But yesterday, after the match, I now realized, oh, so this is what he was referring to. Because that yesterday, a lot is expected from Arsenal to close that gap from uh, where they are currently, fifth position to fourth position. They are 54, uh, 54 points currently now. If they had won yesterday match, they have taken them to 57 points. And that means they are having two points behind Chelsea, who have a game at hand. But losing that yesterday match, I don't think they have any excuse. Number one, they're not playing Champions League. They're not playing uh, an FA Cup. Most of their players, they didn't go for the international duty like we have other teams that almost 80% of their players just return from international uh, break. Yes. So I don't really know the reason why they couldn't win yesterday's match. It is an opportunity for them because I see them as a potential top four, more than even Tottenham, Manchester uh, United, or West Ham. Uh, or, or, or West Ham. But that yesterday's match, I think it's not really a good one. However, they have to go back because what is coming is more than what and they have seen right now. They are still going to play Manchester United. They are playing Chelsea. They are playing West Ham, they are playing Tottenham, they are playing Everton, they are playing Leeds United. So that means they have tough matches ahead of them. So this, uh, the, the little one that they can win, or, they at win or at least get a draw, this is the time for them to do that. Let's see how they're going to um, wake, 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 wake up or come back mm -hmm. against um, Brighton when they meet on Saturday. But sincerely, Sincerely, it would be so disappointing if Asna did not make the top four because they have all what it takes this time around it. to make it. Now, we've been do talking about uh, Crystal Palace as they are known as the Eagles uh, flying over Asna as they were able to win one, two, three. Jordan, are you are not forgetting the man that has been doing the human's job there, the Cote d'Ivoire player who actually did well, scoring the third goal. Well, if you look at that particular game, no one saw that coming, that Arsenal would not win or even play a draw, but it was 3-0 they considered. It was a good one for Vieira against his former club. He was able to make a statement against Arsenal. Ateta could not just see the reason why they should lose so uh, scandalously. So 
uh, Crystal Palace. Let's look at the way the table is looking right now because it's really very dicey for us. Arsenal United to work harder. Man City, Liverpool, Chelsea, Sports are now topping at their head fourth position. Although they have the same point as now, but that opportunity is there for Sports to make sure they maintain it. West Ham are also trailing. Man United are trailing. So it's a bit dicey. Crystal Palace uh, is still far away at the seven point in ninth position. But for the top four that Arsenal will have cemented yesterday, they actually blew it a bit, but it's still open for them. At least they are on the same point with Tottenham of Sport and a match to play. Yeah, it's still open for them, but we're going to have three battles in the Premiership now. Mm. And that's the relegation battle, the top four battle, and the top six battle. And the, okay, the, 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 top two, the top number one battle now is okay, Man City okay, and Liverpool. Man City and Liverpool, that one too is there. If you look at the big difference, battle. it's a big battle between Does them point. Also. So it's going to be four battles this time around. So for Arsenal to really make sure that they cement their um, fourth position, it's to make sure that they did not win. I mean, they did not lose any of their remaining matches. How are they going to do it? Are they going to beat Manchester United? Mm. Are they going to beat Chelsea? Are they going to beat Tottenham? Are they going to beat uh, Everton? Are they going to beat Leeds United? I don't know how they will do it. But it is a must for them because not qualifying for the top four this season is like all what they've done, it's in vain. It's been long, the worth they play in the Champions League. So they're not looking for the trophy, but they just want to taste... At least they then go back, go to, back to the big boys. To the, to the big boys level. They are among the big boys. They, they, used, to be, they used to be among no, the big boys. I don't want to agree that they are among the big uh, boys. No, 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 no. Let they Arsenal go. But at least Arsenal bring a lot of joy. So uh, let me use, if you notice in Nigeria here, a lot of Nigerian women love Arsenal. So let's bring back that joy for them. That is our club. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I, won't, I won't tell you the reason why I think they, they are in love. Okay, because of the fine boys that play for the team. <laughs> We've been talking concerning Arsenal. This is our against Crystal Palace. And they three in favor of the Eagles. Good one for them. They really did well as the uh, uh, Pumel Arsenal there. Well, good one for Crystal Palace. And now the battle is really on for the top four, the top two. As Man City, Liverpool, they are really uh, going to be, it's going to be a big one between the two for them. Who is going to win the, the league for this season? And also we look at the top four. Relegation battle is also there. Now let's go La Liga. Let's talk about a match that was played. Real Sociedad against Espanyol uh, ended in favor of uh, Real Sociedad. They won 1 0 at uh, Cuts of Ishak Alexander, who scored that goal for Real Sociedad there. Well, good one for, uh, for that team. So, that, that really, if you check this season, uh, aside Real Barcelona, Atletico, Sevilla, you think of that particular team because they've been fantastic so far in almost, almost all their games so far in this season. Yeah, they've been very fantastic. And also, yesterday, we saw what they did also. It showed that it is not over until it is over. They didn't get the goal until the 96th minute. 96th minute, yes. yes. In fact, that goal was the last touch of the game. So that shows that they have that zeal, they have that determination, they have we can do it spirit, and that's why they are where they are currently now on the table. That's the spirit mm. of the game of football. They, uh, they got one of their goals, disallow, courtesy VAR, but nevertheless, they didn't allow that to weigh them down. Mm. They are like, we need these three points, but these three points can take us to, if not Europa, Europa Conference League, we need to play in Europe next season. So they've been doing very, 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 very well. So it's a very good result. I'm not surprised. Mm. Well, for, for Real, Real Society, that, uh, if you check, uh, I remember that that team seems to be before. But these days, uh, they've really gotten their group back. They, they are really playing well alongside Real Betis and all other teams. But you look at any time they want to, the teams like Espanyol, Teams like Espanyol, Getafe, uh, Celta de Vigo, I want to face the teams like Peria uh, Sociedad. It's always like, okay, uh, it, it, always very tough match. And they, they, they hold the when against the big boys, but when it comes to mid table teams, they find it very difficult. Look at the game yesterday, just at the dot of time, 96 yeah, minutes before Alexander Ishak, who has now right now, opportunity, they want to get him to. <laughs> they want to sign Ishak. I don't know if Ishak will be joining them. What is happening right now? Uh, okay, before I snack, I even think of buying any players. They should try and qualify for Champions League first, because that's what will attract most players to come to their team. Most of these players, they want to showcase their, uh, their talent in Europe, not only in Premier League. Mm -hmm. So a good one for them, let them keep pursuing it, but it's just face what they need to do right now. Then concerning the issue of the Real Society, it's like what they are doing to the big boys, the other team also are doing the same to, to them. them. If, oh, you are dealing with uh, Manchester, I'm uh, sorry, you are dealing with Real Madrid, Barcelona, Atletico Madrid, so when it comes to you also, we're going to do the same thing. We'll borrow your templates of what you are doing to them, we'll do the same thing to you. That's the game of football.
Well, if you look at the way the table is uh, actually seated now, Real Madrid, yes, they are really showing class. Uh, they are really running away with the 69 points. Uh, they, they, they really done well. Uh, you just have to look at the fact that uh, these teams are making statements. Barcelona, Atletico Madrid, Sevilla, the three teams, who are, is going to make it there? These are, they're actually standing on the same point along goal difference. Real Betis, Real Sociedad, those are the two teams I mentioned earlier. They are standing mm -hmm. fifth and sixth. Mm -hmm. And you have Villarreal, you have Valencia, the normal big, big boys. Uh, now they have turned everything. Uh, <laughs> 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 they have turned everything here. Valencia and Villarreal align. The way West Ham, Tottenham are taking over with uh, Arsenal, Man U right now. That's the way it is with Real Betis, Real Sociedad, Villarreal, Atletico Bilbao, and then Valencia. Well, it's a big battle there. So that, uh, that's one good thing about the game of football. Again, it's involving. It's not about you used to be there again. Mm. If you are there, I know standing very well, I'll push you and I'll maintain that position. So that's what it's it's trend, is. present things now. So that's, that's <laughs> how it is. Look at, look, at, uh, look at Barcelona, for example. As of December, they are ninth on the table. They kept pushing. They kept pushing. They've gone 13 matches without losing any. So right now, they are, st they are still having one outstanding game. And they are on 57 points. So they are able to win their outstanding match. So that means they can get to 60 points. Mm. So that shows that it is not over. It is it's over. over. With eight matches to go now, and you have Real Madrid actually having 69 points. Uh, re the gap is, is, is a bit much there. If you look at it, at least 12 good points ahead of uh, the three big boys that could drag with them. So if you even look at the, the three, the 12 points, that's four matches, and they have eight matches to go. And I'm sure Real Madrid won't sleep to allow to lose four matches in a row. This is a game of football. Mm. Sincerely, anything can happen. Seriously. If K is not taking, they, they, can, they, can they, can, they can lose the next three, four matches. Mm. Okay, but the question is, how sure are we that Barcelona will win the remaining nine matches? Mm. So that's where the plus and minus normally comes in when it comes to who will win the table. Mm. What Real Madrid will be targeting now is let's try and win at least the next four matches. Once we've won the next four matches, then we know that we are home and dry, we are taking the lead because I don't think it is possible for uh, Barcelona to continue this winning, uh, winning the mentality district that okay. they have. Yeah, just before we go, we quickly look at Italian as they are. AC Milan, well, a team, a lot of people were explaining that they should be able to win their game. They drew and that has made them draw points about the Italian as they are. They play goalless uh, as they play goalless against Bologna and the other result also talking about the Italian as they are. Well, we just have to uh, look at that because uh, uh, AC Milan, they were supposed to actually win their game to add more, more uh, points, but they lost it. They actually drew rather, ne dropped two points. Ne ne it's not something that they will give to you. You have to earn it. How do you earn it? You have to play very well. So look at what happened between Juventus and Inter Milan over the weekend also. So a lot of people thought Juventus is going to win the game, to close the gap, to make the top four. But that's not the case. Inter Milan won. So now the Scudetto race this season, this year, will be keenly contested. Mm. You don't need to lose. You just have to keep on winning. That's why we have 57, 57, and 59. A very good one. Good one out there. We've been giving you news our trend in the world of sport. That's a wonderful time with uh, Lawali Peters. Good to pleasure have you. Pleasure being here. Well, Adeni Ajisha Fair, 360 Sport on Trust TV. Thanks for watching.